No doubt one of the most fascinating subjects on the planet is archaeology, simply because we discover something new each time. But sometimes a different kind of new is discovered, the kind that turns the academic world on its head. Find out the weirdest, most insane of these in the latest episode of Big Facts, Top 10 Archaeological Discoveries. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the notifications button below for more videos like this. Let's get right into it. Number 10. The Voynich Manuscript The Voynich Manuscript is officially titled as the most mysterious manuscript to have ever been discovered. Here is the story of the actual discovery. Technically, it was revealed to the modern world with an archaeologist found it in North Italy in 1918. But the manuscript belonged to Emperor Rudolf II of Germany, who had purchased it for a quite a sum, paid in gold, from an English astrologer. But the language, the author, and the origin of the manuscript is unknown to this day. As for what is actually inside the manuscript, no one knows that either. Just that it has some drawings of herbs that apparently no one could match to any known plant. It has also numerous entries on cosmology, biology, and other subjects that end in ology. Actually, we only know these things because of the drawings, as scientists don't even know the language this manuscript is written in. So they obviously can't decipher it anytime soon. Number 9. Mount Owen Moa In the hustling, bustling year of 1986, a group of experienced archaeologists discovered something very strange while casually digging down a cave in New Zealand. A humongous claw. We expect that the scientists would have screamed and ran away, but they stayed to inspect and brought the huge claw with the flesh and muscle still attached to it back to their labs. This huge claw baffled the academic world for a long, long time, until a scientist confirmed that it was from the foot of a wingless, extinct bird that had ceased to exist some 2,000 years ago. Admittedly, the discovery would have been a lot more horrifying and thrilling if it was the claw of a bird that could fly, but we will not judge. But it is still a pretty scary discovery. The wingless moa was, of course, a heavy bird which measured up to 12 feet in height. That is double the height of Jojo Siwa. It also weighed a lot, 25 kilograms. Guess how they got extinct. Like everything else goes extinct, hunted by the most dangerous animal, Homo sapien. This poor hunted bird claw is kept on display at the museum in New Zealand. Number 8. Sexuseyuman This particular discovery was made inside an area that already baffles enough of us and enough of scientists. Inside Machu Picchu Peri. A little about this area, it is a very, very complex mountainous area that no one knows why it was constructed, or how. Why archaeologists were still trying to make sense of buildings that had been discovered in Machu Picchu for hundreds of years, Sexuseyuman was found. This mystery is actually an ancient walled complex. One thing we do know about its origin is that it was constructed in 1440 by an emperor named Pachacuti. It took more than 100 years for the construction to get completed. The walls alone are incredible. They are lined entirely with many types of rocks, including diorite blocks, UK limestone, and darkensite. And that is just the very beginning. The entire thing is almost one kilometer in length and formed in a very complex zigzag manner. On each corner, there is a tower located. Even now, the towers are well supplied with water. But the most interesting historical is Mio Camarca. This is also known as La Torre de Cahid, and you will now find out why. It is known that an Inca general called Tito Cusaholupa jumped from this tower to avoid being taken as a prisoner during the Spanish attack on the Incas. He was also known as Cahid, hence the tower's name. Number 7. Nazca Lines If you are one of the Gatekeeper book series fans, you already know about these, but probably not that they are as mysterious in real life as in fantasy. Nazca line are quite unusual white lines that can be seen when you make a trip over the desert of southern Peru. As for the lines themselves, they aren't random formations at all. These lines join up to make huge shapes like trapezoids, triangles, rectangles, and a whole bunch of swirls. But the most terrifying are the 70-something animals that grace the area. They are built in the way that enlarges the fangs of each animal. If we add up all the shapes, including the plants and animal drawings, then the total count comes up to almost 400. The first question that comes to mind is, why would someone do this? 
or even a group or nation or someone's? The answer, for now, is delivered in words. Who knows? Archaeologists have found out that these lines were etched in between 500 and 700 AD, so a very long time ago. A large community of people do think the aliens made these lines to guide their UFOs, so eh, we'll go with that. Number 6. Gobekli Tepe. This is another archaeological site, one that is the oldest in the world. Do you have the notion that people of the Stone Age were Neanderthals? They used to swing around their axes and yell for no reason? Well, drop it right away. Gobekli Tepe was made in the Stone Age, and it is an exquisite site. There was clearly a high level of construction prowess that these folks possessed 11,000 years ago. They used limestone pillars weighing 15 to 22 tons were used to support this building, and it was clear that they were cut with immense precision. Number 5. Terracotta Soldiers The terracotta soldiers form perhaps the most elaborate funeral settings to have ever been created. It contains different pits with statues of soldiers and horses. The most impressive is the first pit, which also happens to be colossal, as big as an airplane hangar. It is believed to contain over 6,000 of these terracotta figures of soldiers and their beloved loyal horses. Less than 2,000 are on display, and all of the most impressive and mind-blowing pictures that you will see anywhere are taken from this first pit. All the soldiers and even horses face the east of the pit in a very regular arrangement, each one either armed with daggers, halberds, or spears. The leading lines seem to be three rows of infantry who stand at the easternmost end of the army. Behind these are soldiers holding the weapons we mentioned previously, and they also have 38 horse-driven chariots by their sides. On the southern, northern, and western side, there are rows of figures that appear to work on the defense wing. Even seeing these figures shakes one to the core. We can only imagine how actual people felt facing such an organized and well-equipped army. Number 4. Moya these are the famous faces made of stones at the very famous Easter Island. Their discovery actually led to the extinction of their people. When European explorers came to explore these giant stone statues, they brought with them syphilis and other diseases that wiped out the only people who could possibly know how and why these structures were built. Now we live in uncertainty. Some predict that these are the faces of some ancestors that the previously Polynesians had built statues of to honor. Some say these are burial sites. None of us know the true story. Number 3. Stonehenge The stone settings in UK at Stonehenge are perhaps the most famous of prehistoric monuments, and they are truly fascinating. These structures were built in a time of a great historical change. A new style of pottery making and metal construction was developing. The tradition of burying bodies with good also came about suddenly. Around these structures, we can see a lot of very well-supplied graves of people who lived in that area called the Beakers. So, in the early Bronze Age, one of the greatest worldly constructions took place in this area of Britain. These prehistoric, 5,000-year-old monumental structures are part of a single heritage site located in Salisbury City. Of course, the side is made of large and small stones. The larger stones have a height of over 30 feet, called sarzens, and weigh a lot too, around 25 tons. Also, we don't know why people decided to build it. It could have been constructed solely as an area to honor their dead people. The Stonehenge was constructed between 3000 and 2000 BC. For the actual building, construction workers brought these stones from more than 100 miles away. Number 2. Pyramids These ones are a favorite of every person. The Great Pyramids of Giza. Magnificent structures. These are the most well-known of archaeological discoveries to take place, and the most prolonged, too. The Pyramids of Giza are huge, but not without their architectural genius. Their weight is probably the least interesting thing about them. They have puzzles, traps, tombs, and a whole lot of gold that a whole lot of people stole. The most interesting thing... We are closer to them being built than Cleopatra was. Number 1. City of Atlantis This is a tricky one, more so than others, because it isn't technically a discovery. The lost city of Atlantis is a hugely romanticized legend, perhaps the most famous to exist. Plato was responsible for putting forth the idea of this huge city called Atlantis, which drowned in the ocean. Which ocean? He didn't mention that. Which one of these is the most mysterious to you?
comment down below and we'll pin the best one. Like this video and share it with everyone who loves mysteries and discoveries. Subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing videos. This was Big Facts, bringing you the best content on YouTube. See you next time.